Hello guys, how are you today? Hope you guys are doing well. Well, today I'm going to do the famous 50 facts, 50 random facts. So I thought this may be pretty fun to do. So you can guys get to know me and I can get, you know, you can get to know a, a little bit about me. All right, so we're going to start out with number one. My name is Manuet. It's not Monquetta. It's not Monietta. It's not Monk, Monk Wheat. It's Monyet. And it's French. And recently I found out that it was Haitian French or Creole French or something. But anyway, it's French and it's Monyet. Gotcha. Number two. Uh, the first time I was engaged, my parents didn't like um, my fiance. Well, they never really liked anybody I dated. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway. Um, my parents had, my boyfriend had gave me a ring and I was all happy. And I came home one day and I decided to show my mom my ring. And she didn't like the ring. And she told me to take it off. And I never seen it again. Yeah. That was real crazy. <laughs> Number three. I almost died, y'all, at 28, and it's serious. I had got two wisdom teeth taken out, and what happened was I got a infection in my bloodstream that was traveling through my body, and if it would have got to my heart, it would have killed me. But, praise Jesus, I'm still here by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Number four, I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee, y'all. <clears throat> love it, love it, love it. Number, and I do not like Starbucks. Duncan, Starbucks. <laughs> Number five, I like to watch Duck Dynasty. I know. It's really crazy, but I do. Number six, I had a crush on Eddie George. And if you don't know who Eddie George is, he used to be a football player that played for the Tennessee Titans, number 27. <laughs> He was a Heisman Trophy winner in 1995. I know, I know a lot about this guy. It's really soccer. <laughs> but um, yeah, I met him at the airport one time and I just thought he was just so dreamy and so cute. And um, so me and my girlfriends decided, we came up with this plan that we were going to go to the Titans um, football camp and we rented a car and we drove down there and we went to the game and we saw him and we were so excited. So I had found out through his Sky Miles account <laughs> what his address was. Stalker. Er, er, er. <laughs> and we went to his house, y'all. And we were like, and my friend was like, this is not his house. I was like, yes, it is. This is his house. And we got out the car and we were like going around. You know, he wasn't there because we just left the camp where he was. And we were looking through the windows and everything. It was so crazy, y'all. But yeah, we did that. And so funny because it was he had this big, long, red couch in his house, right? And two weeks later when I got back from there, two weeks later when I got back from there, I was watching MTV Cribs. And he was on MTV Cribs. And my girlfriend called me. She was like, Monty, turn on the TV. Eddie George is on there showing his house where we were. And we saw the big red couch and me and my girlfriend, we just like cracked up laughing. Good times, good memories. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Number seven. I have worked for Delta Airlines for 20 years. Well, it'll be 20 years in January. So I'm proud of that. Number eight. At 19 years old, I was in a really bad accident. I didn't break any bones or anything, but... You know, sometimes, you know, you go through life and, you know, you're young, you don't listen. And I had a voice that came to me to tell me not to go a certain way. And I went anyway, and I was in a really bad accident. But, um, yeah. So if you hear the voice of God speak to you, listen, because he's telling you what to do to avoid a bad situation. Number nine. I have had one two three four dogs three have two have died one run away and now i have my dog fancy she's a yorkie 
you guys will see her in some of my videos. All right, number 10, I love to shop. What girl don't love to shop and my husband hate for me to shop? Oh, he gets all, he always spending money. Whatever, love to shop. I love to laugh. I love comedy. I love a good joke. I love to laugh. Number 12, I am a Gidget Gadget girl, y'all. I love Gidget and Gadgets. If you don't know what a Gidget and Gadget is, basically it's all just little technical stuff, little, you know, if you've ever been in the store Brookstone and they got all these little different Gidgets that you use for stuff, I'm not, I love that store. So if you guys ever want to send me a gift card to Brookstone's, yeah, y'all can send me that. 13, I love DIY projects. Like the desk that I'm at now, I did with duct tape with, you know, they got all this new duct tape kind of stuff. And I'm not really a crafty person, but I'm just intrigued with DIY projects. And I watch, you know, the DIY shows and all that stuff. And I really wish I could do all that stuff they're doing, but I can't, but I really want to. Number 14, I love the color pink. I don't have anything pink on today, but I do love the color pink. 15, I have played the piano since the age of 9, 10. I was very good at it. I did all kind of little competitions, but I stopped playing after I graduated from high school because I hate, I just didn't like it anymore. I was a person I could play by, um, play by, I had to um, play, I could read music basically. I couldn't play by ear. My brother could, but I couldn't. I used to be so mad because he could hear a song on the radio and then go right there and play it. But I'm like, I got to get the sheet music. I got to study the notes. But it was very good that I could read music. I don't I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm pretty sure if I studied it, I could, you know, get back to doing it. Uh, number 16, I took tap, ballet, and jazz when I was younger from age like three or four all the way up to like I was 16 years old. I really love to dance. I did love that. 17, I love to swim. I didn't know how to swim when I was younger because I was so scared of water. And my mom was like a swimmer and she put us in like swim lessons at a very young age. And we embarrassed her one time because I freaked out in the pool and was screaming and hollering. And she got so distraught. She just took me and my brother out of the swim class and we never learned how to swim till we were older. Crazy story. 18. I am very adventurous. I love being very adventurous. I love like, you know, zip line and skydive and parasailing, all that kind of crazy stuff. I have never done it, but I would do it if I had opportunity to do it. I would definitely do it. 19. I love to listen to gospel music. I can listen to gospel music all day, every day. I just love gospel music. 20. I love to cook. I love, 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 love to cook. I love learning new recipes. I love watching the Food Network. I just love to cook. 21, I love to entertain. I love to have parties, people over, cook for them. My, my mom was like that, so I guess I just inherited it from her. She loved to cook and entertain, so I just followed in her footsteps. 22, really random when i was about i don't know a teenager 19 18, 19 i used to sneak out the house to see my boyfriend <laughs> I, I when i think about it today i'm like i had to be nuts like and he did not live close like it took at least 20 30 minutes to get to his house and i used to sneak get get in my mom's car and sneak uh, my mom was a really heavy sleeper, my mom and dad. But I'm going to tell y'all this story. The reason why I stopped sneaking out the house, this one particular time I was going to go sneak out the house, right? To go see my boyfriend, right? So I was downstairs in the family room and I was watching a movie, talking on the phone to him. He's like, when are you coming over? And I was like, when some of my parents go to sleep, you know the routine, you know? <laughs> so I fell asleep waiting on my parents to go to sleep. Well, it had started raining and my parents had like this sunroof in their bedroom. And I guess my dad heard the the rain coming down on the sunroof. And so he, I guess, thought about he had left his windows down in his car. 
Well, he comes downstairs and my dad, this is crazy, y'all. My dad never really wakes up in the middle of the night like that. My mom might, but not my dad. So he comes downstairs and I'm asleep on the couch downstairs. And so when he comes downstairs, he hits me on my leg. He was like, mom, you get up and go to bed. It's like three o'clock in the morning or something, right? When he woke me up, it scared the bejeebies out of me, y'all, because the first thing I thought about was what if I had left? And my dad had came downstairs to roll up his windows in his car at three in the morning and I wasn't there. And he walked out and the girl and the car wasn't there. Oh my God. My daddy would have killed me y'all. So from that day on, that scared me so bad. I never did it again. And young girls, if you listen, don't sneak out. Don't be sneaking out to go see your boyfriend. Let them come sneak out to you. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. All right. <laughs> 23. I love Italian food, y'all. That's my favorite food. I love soul food, but I love Italian food. I love all kind of fettuccine, tortellini, catalini, any kind of lini. I love it. Oh, I love I love Italian food. I love all of it. It's just so good. And I love real Italian food. Awesome. 24. I'm scared of heights. I am. Even though I can do adventurous things, like even if I see somebody on TV and they're on the edge of a cliff and they're about to jump or something, my legs get just like this tingly in my legs and and I freeze up. Like it really scares me to it's like it really scares me. Like, you know, I don't know why, but I'm scared of heights. Twenty five. Y'all, I love reruns of Different World, Cosby Show, stuff like that. Like I can literally watch that all day if like if i have a marathon i would watch it all day love it 26 i'm an easy crier i get emotional i'm very i can get very i'm very emotional sometimes with 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 different things i get very emotional and i cry real easy sentimental like if i'm at a wedding or something or even both times i did my vows at my 10-year reunion and my when i first got married i cry <sighs> just emotional person uh, 28, I don't hold grudges. I am not a grudge holder, y'all. I do not hold grudges. I might be, I will get mad at you, you know, and I may not speak to you for a minute, but, you know, I can't stay mad long at somebody. I'll forgive you and, you know, move on. 29, speaking of grudges, I don't, I, I do have a mean, I can't have a mean streak sometimes, but it doesn't last long because I'm just not that type of person. 30. I am not an early bird person, y'all. There's something in my contact is really bothering me. I am not an early bird, y'all. If anybody that knows me knows I do not get up early, I'm a night owl. I hate getting up early. Even when I used to be going to, even when I used to go to school, my mom used to have to like drag me out of bed every morning. It was just ridiculous. I even used to go to the point, y'all, where I used to. I love ginger ale. That's another random fact. Um, I used to go in the bathroom, turn the water on in the faucet, act like I'm washing my face or something, and get in the tub with a towel over me and go to sleep. And then my mom would be bamming on the door. I know you're not in there t that long because I don't hear nothing moving around. But yeah, ugh, I'm not an early bird person. 31, when I was young, I used to love Pac-Man. That was like my favorite game ever. I was addicted to Pac-Man. 32, when I was younger, like between the age of 9 through 12, my parents owned a skating rink in Niagara Falls. That's where I'm originally from, Niagara Falls, New York. And it was called Niagara Skateway Screaming Wheels. <laughs> And I thought I was like the big woman on campus. Like I thought I was it because my parents owned a skate and ring and I love to skate. And that was like the best time of my life. I loved it. 33. Um, I think I said this already. I love to swim. Hmm, did I say that already? I might have. All right, moving on. 34. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I have been... This same height, or maybe a little shorter, but I've been basically the same height since the fifth grade. 
fifth grade. I sure have. Quick story. The reason why I grew so fast when I was younger because, you know, I had vitiligo. And when my mom found out that I had vitiligo, she freaked out because she didn't know what it was. And she was taking me to all these doctors. Well, we lived in Niagara Falls and Canada was right across the border. Like, you know, we could basically drive down the street. You could see Canada on the other side. So my mom, um, someone told her about this Indian doctor to take me to. So in the Indian culture, vitiligo is very popular in Indian culture. A lot of people in Indian culture have vitiligo. So she took me over there. And so she took me to him and he told her, he was like, um, basically this is how he's, this is how my mom always tells the story, how the doctor was talking to her, you know, like the Indians do. And he said, Miss Griffin, Miss Griffin, Norius, calm down, ma'am, calm down, calm down. It's just vitiligo. There is nothing wrong with her. She'll be okay. <laughs> She just has vitiligo. Uh, you just got to give her a lot of vitamins and you give her the vitamins. She'll be okay. So he gave her this book. It was called Let's Get Well. And it was like every vitamin under the sun. Well, my mom just like went in vitamin overload. So she started just giving me all these vitamins, liquid vitamins. I mean, I was up to here with vitamins. So while she was pumping these vitamins in me, it was making me grow really fast. My hair was growing, nails was growing. I mean, I was just growing. So I would come home from school and I would be busting out of my clothes. And my mom would be like, what is going on with you? So she took me back to the doctor and he was like, slow down on the vitamins. Stop giving her so much. But the vitiligo just cleared up. It did. It cleared up within weeks. And so, you know, when you're a child, you're, you know, your body is more susceptible to, you know, to heal faster, I guess, you know, it's not like that now, but, um, I just grew really, really fast. So I've been the same height since fifth grade and I wore a size nine in the fifth grade. And then I went to a size 10 and get this y'all. I wore a size 10 until I was 25 years old. And I remember it specifically because I was going shopping to go to a Maxwell concert. I'll never forget. And I was trying on shoes, y'all, and I could not fit a size 10 shoe anymore. My foot grew to, grew to 11 at age 25. Yes, it did. And I've been 11 since. Awful. All right, next. <laughs> 35. I've been to a drag queen show. Y'all ever been to a drag queen show? I went to my first drag queen show on a birthday. I went, my girlfriend took me. It was hilarious. I mean, it was, I'm surprised I haven't been to another one because I really had a good time. It was so fun. Hilarious. If you haven't been, you need to go because some queens, honey, they know how to do it. 36. My first job was at Winn-Dixie. If you don't know what Winn-Dixie is, it's a grocery store. And I got fired because my mom decided to have a big family reunion and we had never had a family reunion on our side of the family. And so we were planning this big family reunion and all my cousins were coming down, but guess what? They had me on a schedule to work and I was like, oh no, I cannot work. So they was like, well, if you don't come to work, you're gonna get fired. And I'm thinking like, they, don't know that. they ain't gonna fire me because I was like one of their best workers. But guess what? After the family union was over with and I tried to go back to work, they told me to turn my badge in. I could not go to work. Screw you, Winn-Dixie. But that's all right. That was my first job. Mm -hmm, sure was. 37. First time getting my nails professionally done was I was age 17. And let me tell y'all, this is, you know, it may not seem a big deal, but back then, there wasn't all these little nail shops on every other corner. They didn't have the Vietnamese shops back then. It was prom. It was my prom night. I'll never, it was my prom night. And my um, mom's friend said, well, you know what? You need your nails done. I'll take you to go get your nails done. I had never professionally got my nails done. And I went to this nail shop and it was so beautiful and, you know, up upper class. And I had never been in, nail, in a shop like this before. And everybody was raving over my, raving over my nails because they said I had long nail beds or whatever. I had never even heard of that before. And I remember it was like $70 and I thought I was, cause I got my nails done girl and I had acrylic and I had tips and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I was cute. Mm, I was, I have to show you my prom picture. I was cute. Mm -hmm. I was, but yeah. All right. Next 38. 
love to watch Disney movies. I'm 40 years old and I like to watch Disney movies. Is that strange? I know it is, but whatever. I like it. Tangled and it's one of my favorite movies and I like watching Nemo. I know it's really weird. My husband looks at me like, why are you watching that? And there's no kids here to watch it with you. I like the movie Annie, even though it's not a Disney movie, but I like the movie Annie. I have it on my TiVo right now. I do. Alrighty. I'm just a kid at heart, I guess. Okay. 39. I love to drink wine, y'all. Mm-hmm. I sure do. I love to smell it, swish it around, put it in your mouth, taste it. I should be a wine connoisseur. I love, I love wine. I need a wine cooler, like a wine cellar. That's what I need. I'm not an alcoholic. Mm -mm. No, I'm not an alcoholic, but I like to drink wine. Red wine, white wine. I don't like to dry wine. Mm, nope. But I like, I like to have wine. 40. I have never really smoked. I've tried some cigarettes when I was younger. You know how you have your parents used to smoke and you want to be cool or something. And I thought I was going to be, I was like, <coughs> throw that away. Don't smoke. It's not good for you anyway. 41. I used to sleepwalk y'all when I was little. I mean, I was a horrible sleepwalker. Like every night I would get out of my bed and I would wake up in another part of the house. And my mom used to always be like, be careful when you wake up. You might step on Monty. Don't, don't look where you're stepping. I mean, I would be in the bathroom, closet, steps, under tables. One night I was under the table and I was asleep and I was kicking the, kicking the um, leg of the table and the dining room table. And my dad woke up, my mom woke up and they thought somebody was in the house trying to rob them. And it was me. It was just me kicking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just kicking under the table. My mom was like, Lord, this child. <laughs> 42. Math was my worst subject in school. I hated math. Like, I struggled so hard in math. It was awful. I hated math. It's just like when I got to, when, I mean, like, it's not like I was dumb, but I just, like, if you set a math problem in front of me, it's like my brain would just freeze and like, what's two plus two? And I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not that bad. But <laughs> I was just like, oh, when it came to like geometry and algebra and all that stuff, it was just like a foreign language for real. Like, oh, hated math. 43. I love science though. I love like biology, science and all that. I love dissecting the little frogs we used to have to do and you know, learning the elements and all that. I love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 44. My favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. My birthday. Oh, y'all didn't know that was a holiday? It is. It's my holiday. <laughs> no, I love Christmas. That is one of my favorite holidays. But my birthday? Mm -hmm. I guess because my mom, when, she, when I was little, she made a big deal about my birthdays all the time. So, but this is a crazy thing, y'all. I always wanted a sleepover. And my mom would never let me have a sleepover for my birthday. So guess what? Mm-hmm, I sure did. Third grade, I decided to make my own invitations and said I was having a sleepover birthday party. Mm -hmm. And my mom didn't have no clue. She sure didn't. How about I made my own invitations third grade saying that I was having a sleepover for my birthday and passed them out to my friends at school? Mm-hmm. So just so happened, one of the parents decided, well, let me call to check on this birthday party. So the parent called my mom and was like, yeah, I thought it was so cute that you let Monty make her own invitations. My mom was like, mm, what are you talking about? She was like, well, yeah, the cute little invitations for the sleepover. <laughs> my mom was clueless. She was like, Monty's not having a sleepover for her birthday. She was like, well, Michelle came home and said, you know, she was so excited about this birthday. My mom was like, mm -mm, I'm so sorry, but Monty's not having a sleepover for her birthday. I don't know where she came up with this. My mom wanted to kill me and I didn't have a sleepover and I'm 40 years old and I still haven't had a sleepover birthday party. Mm -mm, I sure haven't. <sighs> Okay, where am I at? 45. 
I never had a surprise party either. I've always wanted a surprise party. You can't give yourself a surprise party. No one's ever gave me a surprise party. I've given people surprise parties. My parents have gave them a surprise party, but nobody ever gave me a surprise party. I want a surprise party. Mm hmm 46. I'm a prowler and a little sneaky. I've always been sneaky, ever since a little kid. I don't know why. I don't. I have no clue. I used to go prowling my mom, my grandmother's stuff all the time. And it's like, you always prowling. I don't know where that come from. I, I don't know. I have no clue. I've gotten better though. I'm not a prowler like that anymore. Well, sometimes we're not. <laughs> 47. I give good relationship advice. I've been told that. I don't know. I've had crazy relationships too. So I guess that's why I can give advice because I know. And if you don't like my advice, it's probably because it's good advice and you don't want to hear it. But I think I do. I should have been a psychologist or something. 48. When I'm mad, I like to clean up. Like, I will clean the house from top to bottom. Like, it's therapeutic, I guess. So I like clean 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 like i can clean like and i don't even realize the time that's went by i've cleaned so much i guess i should stay mad a lot so i can really clean up <laughs> 49 49 my first kiss when was y'all first kiss my first kiss i was 12 11 and I was in sixth grade and I know the boy's name, but I'm not going to say it <laughs> like who cares, but I mean, it wasn't like a kiss either. Mm -mm. It, we was, mm, we were really kissing, like mm, kissing, kissing. Like, I don't even know how I knew how to do that. And I don't even, wasn't even really into boys, but I wanted to kiss him and I kissed him. I sure did. And he kissed me back and we kept kissing. We were sneaking on the side of the house and we were just a kissing, kissing, kissing. Yeah, we were. We were bad. Mm -hmm. But girls, don't be kissing that, in, that young. Y'all don't need to be kissing. Keep, him, keep your lips to yourself. Keep your lips to yourself. All right. Number 50. 50, 50, 50. 50. I love my family. I love my husband. I love my brother, my nephews. I love to watch my nephews play football. They're awesome. Y'all better look out for all of my nephew, Trey, Ty, and Taj Griffin. They're going to be superstars. They already superstars. But I love to watch them play football. They're my loves. They're my loves. I love them to death. And also, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five, five, five. Five grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Do I look like a grandmama to you? No, I don't. But they're my stepkid children, and I love all of them to death. They are sweetie, sweetie pies. I love them. So that's all about me. I hope you guys enjoyed my 50 random facts. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace out. A town down.